The introduction of 13 separate skulls into Halo's gameplay has allowed a seemingly endless combination of ways to play each Halo campaign. With the addition of four separate difficulty modes, Easy, Normal, Heroic, and Legendary, there's almost no end to the number of ways each player can experience a Halo campaign. But what if a 14th skull was created? Not just to further increase the replay value, but also to satisfy Halo fans both new and old. What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and one of the arguments currently plaguing the Halo community revolves around classic gameplay mechanics versus present mechanics. It's been the topic of videos forged by Halo fans across the spectrum, but who is right? And who is wrong? Or is there a right or wrong answer? Now to be frank here, we're talking about gameplay. What's fun is completely subjective to the player. What one person finds amazing, another might see as complete and utter garbage. When talking about gameplay mechanics, I typically hear about the multiplayer side of things, which, when you think about it, makes the most sense. Rather than going up against scripted AIs, you're facing off against other players. And depending on your particular playstyle, this can really make a difference. I spoke with my friend Late Night Gaming recently, and we both were able to come to the conclusion that what many people consider to be legacy Halo fans are now in the minority in the overall Halo community. And when I say legacy, I'm referring to folks who were around for the original trilogy. But that doesn't mean that the developers of 343 should ignore them either. My solution for this in terms of multiplayer was to make sure that there was at least one classic playlist, or even multiple classic playlists, available at game launch. It's not perfect, but at least it's better than nothing. But this brings up another question. What about the campaign? How should that be treated in regards to the new versus old argument? And can both sides be made happy? The answer is, it is possible. When debating people online about game mechanics and how they should be treated in campaign, the main answer always seems to be the same. Campaign should play and feel just like the multiplayer for the purpose of consistency. It does make sense in a way, but at the same time I found myself asking, who wouldn't want more tools at their disposal to battle the Covenant and other enemy forces? Isn't having more useful tools at your disposal a useful feature when going up against legions of alien forces? I guess for some, that answer is no. So how do you fix this problem? How do you accommodate the needs of both generations, both new and old? The answer might be more simple than you think. Let me introduce to you the 14th standard Halo campaign skull, a skull that when activated would remove all enhanced Spartan abilities. I call this new skull Shut Down. It's not that far-fetched when you think about it. Some current skulls already remove certain features. The Fog Skull removes radar, the Black Eye Skull removes the automatic recharge of your shields, and the Blind Skull removes your HUD. So. Why not a skull that also removes enhanced abilities? I could see this serving on two tiers. For one, anyone who wants classic gameplay for the campaign would finally have a chance to play without enhanced abilities affecting play. And secondly, newer generation Halo fans who are looking to further challenge their experiences will have a new tool help them do so, just like with the rest of the skulls. There are some that challenge the concept, citing that the maps and encounters are built around the concept of enhanced abilities, and though that might be accurate to some extent, it doesn't make any of the current missions unplayable without them at all. In fact, if you load up the Halo 3 campaign and play missions like the Ark and the Covenant, both are vast missions that revolve around vehicular combat. But what happens when your vehicle is destroyed? You're still left to traverse a vast map, mostly out in the open, with nothing but a steady jog helping you get from point A to point B. But those missions are still very much playable even without the help of vehicles even if it makes them a little bit longer and a bit more tedious at times. My point is that it can work regardless of the level design, and I believe Halo 5 missions can work that way too. So why not Halo 6? Quite simply put, adding the shutdown skull on Halo 6 would allow players both new and old to better experience the campaign on his or her own terms. 
like with a classic playlist, it may not be the perfect solution, but I do believe that at the very least, it's a step in the right direction. So what do you think of the idea of a shutdown skull in Halo 6? If you're a classic Halo fan, would this help you enjoy your campaign experience a little more? And if you're a newer Halo fan, would it be a fun challenge for you to embark on while on your Halo journey? I'm eager to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I'd love it if you would share them with me in the comments below or on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. I also want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and you'd like to see more, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more content right here on MythicTyro.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.